from the beginning, Ailes was an officer of the company when the, all of this happened. And under Delaware law, the company has to indemnify its top officers. So they were always going to be on the hook for whatever the settlement number was going to be. So that meant that they were involved in the settlement discussions, whether they wanted to be or not. How much do we know about how, what amount, if any, Ailes himself will be personally responsible for? Well, we don't know that yet. We know that he's going to be responsible for a portion of it and that the negotiations between the company and Ailes were quite tense throughout the, the settlement discussions. You know, one of the things that I reported earlier is that Gretchen Carlson had recorded conversations with any time a woman has tapes of conversations that appear to be inappropriate, that gives her a much greater sort of leverage point. The interesting thing is at this stage for the company is that this settlement is clearly a moment where they are trying, this is supposed to draw a line under this, under this sort of ugly chapter and they want to move on. Their interests from Roger Ailes have now completely diverged. Roger Ailes is, is waging his own sort of second, second chapter in this, in this fight where he's actually going after a journalist who has reported on the settlement. But for 21st Century Fox, they are really trying to kind of move on and declare a new chapter. Interestingly for your viewers, um, Greta Van Susteren, who's a major on-air talent there, just announced that she was leaving. So it, it goes to show that the waters are not yet calm at Fox News. And we know, Sarah, that Gretchen Carlson's lawsuit had a waterfall effect in that it did bring other former employees or reports of Ailes's out of the woodwork to discuss their situations with the investigators. Any sense of how many of these are still within a statute of limitations and may themselves result in settlements? Yes. I mean, we have, um, I reported this morning that there are two other women who've been settled with. There were only, according to my reporting, there were only three um, women whose complaints against Ailes fell within the three-year statute of limitation for sexual harassment in New York State. Um, Gretchen Carlson has settled, and there are also two other settlements with two other women, and I don't have the details on who those women were or what the settlement numbers are, but they are both still at Fox News. So the fact that uh, the, it's coming out that the number is 20 million, that they've released this apology, do you think that indicates that they think the potential further fallout is limited, that perhaps it is limited to these two women you just mentioned uh, who might also uh, have uh, issues that could be settled at this point? I mean, I think that, that, that for sure what they're trying to do was, uh, was a $20 million settlement to Gretchen Carlson and an apology, which is highly unusual in any kind of a settlement situation. I mean, we all have covered corporate settlements in the past, and often there's a settlement and there's no apology with this, with this kind of a thing. I think that what, um, what they hope for sure is that this is, this is it for the ale scandal. And I think that, um, I think that by doing an, invest, you know, an, an investigation aggressively, early, and quickly, and kind of for James and Lachlan Murdoch, who are now the two people who are running the company, their father founded it, but they're the ones who are in charge. They're really trying to herald that this is going to be a culture change. Um, at the same time, this is a huge revenue generator for them. It, it brings in, you know, brings in a billion dollars in, in uh, profits every year. And so they need to make sure that they're not going to totally upset this very well-oiled machine. But at the same time, they don't want to have a continued liability risk. So there, there, there are two real, real um, issues that they are trying to manage. Hey, CNBC fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Here you're going to find videos packed with all of the information that you need to be smarter about your finances. You can subscribe by clicking right here and click on all the videos around me or the eye right here to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.